Hello, this is Patrick. For those who have been watching my channel all year, know that I love outdoor activities and adventures. Besides kayaking, stand-up paddleboarding, wakeboarding, bridge jumping, mountain biking, I'm a runner. I run three days a week, and I run four miles each time. It's November though. November gets cold. It's about 36 degrees. Not my ideal running conditions. But I'm going to make do. I'm properly dressed. Got all the gear on. I have some gloves to wear. But I worked all day. And it's almost 5 o'clock and the sun already set. So it's getting dark very, very quick. I'm going to run, what, on the street? Dangerous, right? There's cars. They're not going to see you. No matter how much reflectors you have or flashlight, still a very dangerous area to run. You got to worry about potholes, sore grates. All right, well, Jersey Shore, we're here by the beach. Boardwalk. Boardwalk's always well lit. Boardwalk gets slippery when it's damp. And I just checked the weather report. It's about 13, 14 mile an hour winds up there. I don't like running in the wind. All right, well, I'm a member at the gym. I'll just go run on the treadmill. No, I hate that. I hate running on the treadmill if, unless I absolutely have to. So where am I gonna run? Well, I love cross country trail running. There's a trail not too far from my house, about a mile away. So I'll do some street running to the trail, enter the trail and run, and it'll probably be dark by the time I get there. So my light off my bike, it's 400 lumens. I'm gonna carry this, turn it on, and light up the whole trail. I know the trails, so I'm not gonna worry about getting lost. I also know there's no bears or coyotes or foxes or anything that's gonna harm me in the trails. I know it's safe and a lot of people don't hang out there or dirt bike or quad back there. I don't have to worry about getting run over. So I'm gonna put this on my uh, GoPro chesty here, film a little bit of me running to the trail, and then when I get to the trail, I'll film some more and hopefully be able to narrate and I uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, we are ready to run. You can see the sun is set. It's getting dark. I can still see perfectly fine, but man, once you get in that woods, actually by the time I get there, it'll be pitch black anyway, but once you get in the woods, it'll be a lot darker. I use a Garmin GPS watch to keep track of my pace and how, how far I went and my time. On the streets I run about 720. Uh, in the cross country woods I run anywhere between eight and a half to nine and a half depending on the terrain. And I also do beach running in the summer uh, barefoot in the sand and the surf. Uh, I do about 10 minute mile there. So I'm going to start running. I already stretched. Uh, it's about a mile to the trail so uh, let's get crackalacking. Gotta take a little bit of a highway to get there. As you can see the car is coming head on. You probably could barely see me. All right, I'll see you again when we get to the entrance of the trail. Okay, so I made it to the trail. It's about a mile and a quarter to the trail. My pace is a little bit slower than today. It's 7.43, but I'm here. And now you can see it's pitch black behind me. The lights are lighting my face up. Sky still has a little bit of light to it. But the woods are dark and getting darker by the minute. So, you want to hear something funny? You know those gloves I mentioned? Well, I forgot them. When I was filming the back of the pickup truck, I left them there, got ready, started running, and noticed about quarter mile in that I didn't have them on my hands are freezing 
now dropped to about 34 degrees so it's definitely cold out but uh gonna continue to run so i'll put this back on and i'm gonna run through the trail you'll be able to see with the flashlight uh where i'm running gotta be careful for uh holes and uh, uh roots definitely you don't want to twist an ankle um so wish me luck Okay, I'm gonna turn back on uh, my Garmin, turn on the flashlight, look how much that lights up. It's really, really good light that uh, doesn't just have to be used for biking. So let's go. I'll make a quick right here. Now I know these trails, I run them a lot, but it's fall, a lot of new leaves fell. It's hard to see where all the roots are. Also, there's a lot of pine cones. It's wide enough. It's hard running with a flashlight because you can't swing your arms the way you would like to. And this is soft sand right here. In a hill. Now we're going down. <clears throat> it's easy to get lost, especially at night, even if you've been in the trails before. Really, really hard to see the roots I'm stepping on. So be careful. My pace right now is about nine. down this hill. Lots of roots here. A little bridge. Shot for nails. Mud. They're so dry. Makes your thirst. <clears throat> I can't even see if the boogeyman's behind me. <clears throat> you never know what you're going to stumble upon when you're in the woods. Be prepared. Carry knife, mace, maybe emergency kit. All the things I don't have. See, I just missed my trail. <clears throat> this one leads out to a neighborhood. Didn't mean to go here. There we go. See, right now you, you overlook some of your landmarks. There we go, American flag. That's patriotic. Oh, whoop de doo. Oh, let's see where this one goes. Why not, right? It's like someone abandoned this one. 
Turn around. Don't like taking breaks. Hate slowing down. I like to keep going. Keep that heart rate. Keep it up. Lots of branches here. Here's a little side trail. Ever see Blair Witch? You don't want to think about that shit when you're in here. What the hell is this? We'll stop to check this out. We got some bed springs, a mattress, a little rope, an extension cord. Maybe it's an electric fence. It's like a cool hangout area. They just even have a big pipe running out to it doesn't really go anywhere maybe something etched into the tree that looks creepy all right it looks safe let's continue hate taking breaks kind of interrupted my trail I wasn't here last week Neither was this. What the hell is that? Great, I had to mention Blair Witch. Now I'm starting to get creeped out. Okay. Zigzaggy small trail. Big puddle. Not the end of the world you step on a puddle, but you don't want to twist your ankle. Trees are tightening up. We're out. We are blacked out right now. Shut this off. See? Can't see shit. And we only have three miles more to go. All right, we just hit mile two. Now we have two miles left. Look at this whoop de do area. That'd be fun on a bike. ATV. Lots of little side trails. Folks, we are running in the trails at night and we're doing it.
nice wide open smooth trail get some speed but don't get cocky it could always get rocky look at this shit bottles cans booby traps you can counter anything Just tripped. Did it hurt? Tree branch down. That's new. <clears throat> Trying to get back on the course here. I think we're over. On the left here. You know, then when you get home, everything went okay. You don't have to run the next day and do a double workout or cardio and lifting. You got it over with the night before. Plus, it was more fun. I hate running the same course over and over again. Run at sunrise, sunset, night, day, cold, warm. We'll always feel different. You'll see different things too. Which makes it more interesting. Over here is a Jersey Devil. Oh, hope he ain't back here. Just twisted it. Ooh, that would have been I recovered. Just twisted my ankle. Pulled the pressure off. Recovered. It can happen. Ooh, it's cold out. I'm well, not too bad. My hands, though, fingertips are numb. This is a fun one.
You know, I noticed this other day. It's like a little homeless encampment. Maybe it's Tent City Brick. This is Brick Township, New Jersey. Lakewood, New Jersey has a big tent city. They evicted a lot of the people. Maybe they moved here. Well, oh, don't want to stick around. Hit a soft stand. You lose all your traction. Now I'm just going in circles. Thought I could pick up the trail again. Here we go. Tree fooled me. Okay. Now we're at the out of the trail. Same location, different exit. We're at 2.91, so that's perfect. I could just run home from here, and I'll be at my four miles. Where we have to go from here is Route 70, a major highway in New Jersey. I have to run down it against the traffic, but I have my flashlight. It's a very big shoulder, and it's only for a short period of time. So let's head over there. Okay, we're coming up on Route 70, which brings you from the Jersey Shore to Philadelphia. Uh oh. There we go. Not so bad, but that wind, holy sheesh. It's easier over here. Cut through to another little trail. Loose sand, watch your ankle. <clears throat> now we're home free. I'm in my neighborhood. Just have to run home. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, we're almost there. Just have to cross one divided highway. I'll run alongside till it's clear. There we go. Make sure it's clear all the way. We're good. It's cold, it's tough, but I'm all right. I'm a champion. It's 
sometimes there's a car behind me. I'll turn my flashlight around so I can see something coming. Or that they're approaching something. <clears throat> About 31 degrees right now. Temperature drop quick. You never hear me complain about the warm. I don't care if it's 100 degrees. I'm happy. Cold stuff. Okay, so I made it home. I didn't fall. I didn't get hurt. No twisted ankle. It's cold as anything. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. But I did it. I did my four miles. So extra easy day tomorrow. Just one workout. Um, my time wasn't that great, but hey, I'm wearing a lot of clothes and it's very cold out. And I worked a very, very long day today. And uh, I'll see you next activity. Please comment, like, share my video. I'd love it.